to a brand new episode of Coming Distractions brought to you by the Nerdpocalypse Podcast. I'm your host, Jay. Okay, guys, let's talk about Shaft. This is the 2019 uh, version, the direct sequel to the 2000 film of the same name, which is weird. But this is obviously starring Samuel L. Jackson, Jesse Usher. Um, this, this takes place a number of years after Shaft in 2000, um, where... Jesse Usher plays JJ or John Shaft Jr., uh, who is the estranged son of Samuel Jackson's uh, John Shaft. And so John Shaft the second. OK, the, this is weird. So anyway, the the movie basically picks up. We, we meet um, Regina Hall, who plays uh, JJ's mother and John Shaft, Samuel Jackson there. It's like 1989. And they end up in a gunfight, uh, and it's revealed that their son was also in the car, JJ, uh, as a baby. And she decides that she wants to take her son away from all of this danger, um, even though she still loves Shaft. But she's got to get out of there just because it's obviously dangerous for her and this new baby. Um, they leave, and then it's sort of this like fast-forwarding in time where we see JJ growing up just with his mom. And he's... Like an MIT graduate, super smart kid, um, and he ends up, uh, when it starts in present day, he's an FBI agent. Uh, he's just like a data analyst, not, not like a field agent. So that's, that's where the, the sort of the background of the story starts. And then one of his best friends ends up being, um, ends up dying through some uh, sort of shady uh, circumstances. And he's back in New York. And so he actually, goes and leans on his dad. And he's like, Hey, look, I know you're a private, uh, you're a private uh, investigator and you're kind of a badass and what have you. So can you help me with this case? I think something shady happened. And that's how they reconnect. Um, look, Shaft in 2000 is far and away a very different movie than the original black exploitation Shaft, which is a great movie, I would argue. Um, but this one, you know, th this series with Samuel Jackson is much more comedic and, you know, kind of fun and a little bit more tongue in cheek, right? This, uh, this one was directed by Tim Story again and, uh, co-written by Kenya Barris, who does Blackish, um, amongst many other things. So I feel like this movie leans far more into the comedy elements than the action elements than even the Shaft 2000 one did, um, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It's just far and away different than the original Shaft. I think that's that's the first thing you have to understand. The The second part is Samuel L. Jackson is having a blast in this role. For playing Nick Fury and these very hyper-serious characters for the last couple of years, um, it's really Sam Jackson kind of getting back into his bag of, like, saying motherfucker a lot and just, like... Just being a real nigga. Like, he just is. Like, the whole time. He's just like an old nigga who don't give a fuck about the modern day shit. And then, like, I can respect that because I think Samuel Jackson does a really good job. And I don't feel like he's really acting that much. Um, so he does a really good job. Uh, Jesse Usher, who plays JJ, um, is about as polar opposite of Sam Jackson as they could find uh, for this character. He's this nerdy kind of button-up kid. Again, you know, he he literally went to MIT. He's, uh, you know, he works for the, the FBI. So he's, he's the polar opposite of Shaft in a lot of ways. But as the movie progresses, they sort of find their commonality between those two characters. Um, the movie leans very heavily, at least in the first act after they meet, it leans very heavily on, like, Sam Jackson isn't the old, old grizzled guy who does it the old way. Like he doesn't use computers that often and or ever. And this young guy loves computers and he's like really into that. Or, you know, Shaft is all about, you know, womanizing and and his son is, oh, you know, but you should treat women equally. And all. like it, it plays a lot of that. There's like a, a couple of like there's one trans joke that I personally didn't think was very funny. Like even if it was funny, like. And 2019 is probably not a great idea, but I'm, I'm not offended by it. It just wasn't funny. Um, there's a lot of like, are you sure you're not gay jokes? Because, you know, I I fuck everything that moves kind of thing. Um, there's a couple of that. So there and, and I and I get the point of it. It's leaning on this idea that he's such an old school guy and he comes up, you know, in his time and, and here he's kind of a dinosaur in this age. Right. Uh, it doesn't stop Samuel Jackson from 
being a badass and like he's not he's not necessarily the butt of the jokes jj is more the butt of the jokes a lot in the beginning um so it knows its demographic which is older black folks and you know that sort of like i don't really understand maybe what these younger people are talking about and you know i got my ways and they got their ways kind of thing but then it kind of comes to this mutual understanding which i can respect um that being said where shaft 2000 super worked from a villain perspective with Jeffrey Wright as Peoples Hernandez, which is like one of the most memorable um, uh, uh, villains. This one doesn't have a villain until the very end. And by the way, I think I said, I'm sorry, if I said Tim Story directed the original, that that's incorrect. Um, but where, where the, you know, Peoples Hernandez was such a great villain to go up against Chef, the villain isn't really there so it the villain is being a shitty dad and like learning to kind of fight against that and being like a better guy uh in the end but the film does still respect who shaft is not by like just completely neutering him or undercutting him he's still the same badass that he was throughout uh the series but it's like all right it's 2019 maybe don't be as much of a dick <laughs> like so that that's really kind of the enemy is like this internal struggle for shaft um Look, the action is not great. It's okay. There's a lot of shoulder shooting, <laughs> like a lot of it, which is weird. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I just found it to be very funny, like uh, laugh out loud funny in a lot of ways on purpose, right? It's not unintentionally funny. It's actually on purpose. Um, but I would have craved a little bit more old school shaft of like just kind of being a, more of a badass in more serious tone instead of being a badass, but also like almost it's more comedy than action in my, in my opinion, actually. So it's, it's fine. If you like shaft 2000, you're probably really going to like this. If you're in the demographic that they are hard shooting for, um, you're going to love it. The soundtrack is really good. I will say that it is a, it's a good mix of like old and new stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a probably, it's probably for me, it's probably a three out of five above average, but I'm not like running out to see this. I, I would say it's a good matinee. Um, if you're like an old, if you're like older black folks, this is like a perfect date movie. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. It, it's fine. I don't know that I need another shaft movie with Samuel L. Jackson. But I wouldn't turn it down if it was on Netflix. Uh, I'll say that. So three out of five for Shaft 2019. Uh, check it out if that if it's if you're in its wheelhouse. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So there you go. You're watching the Nerdpocalypse YouTube channel. Make sure you click that button to subscribe and check out our weekly podcast where we talk about movie, TV, news, tech, and weird stories from around the internet.